In YouTube Analytics, you can click Advanced Mode or See More beneath Mode gives you more options for getting data. You can use the Escape key or click the X to leave Advanced Mode or an expanded report. In the top right-hand corner, you can change the date range you want to look at. You can also use the search bar to look at analytics for a specific video, playlist, or group. Groups allow you to analyze and understand segments of your content. They can help you identify trends for specific types of content you make. For example, if a specific topic performs better than another, or how your shorter form videos perform compared to your longer form ones, and much more. To create a group, click on your channel name, and then select Groups. All of your previously created groups automatically save, which is the list you see here. If you've never created a group before, or if you want to create a new one, click Create New Group. This will bring you to a screen that allows you to enter a group name and select the videos you want to add to that group. Once you select all the videos you want for that group, click Save. Now that group will show up in the list and will be searchable here. There are many other ways you can filter your data with advanced mode. This filter allows you to filter data by geography, subscription status, and more. The top row allows you to choose a dimension to break down your data in a different way. If you click here, you can change the metric you're viewing in the line chart. And here, you can select a secondary metric to look at. Keep in mind that you can hover over any part of the chart for more details. You can also change the chart type, and switch between daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly views. The table below the chart gives you a further breakdown of your data. You can check the boxes next to individual rows in the table to change what you're looking at in the chart. Each item checked will now have a corresponding line or bar in the chart. You can also add a metric to the table by clicking this plus sign. You can add metrics like average view duration, likes versus dislikes, information about end screens and cards, and much more. To remove a metric from your report, click this three dot options menu and then hide metric. Keep in mind that some combinations of data are not supported, depending on what you're trying to look at. Rows that are written in blue text can be clicked to get more detailed data. For instance, if you're viewing traffic sources, you can click results like YouTube search to learn what specific searches led to traffic on your channel. This view also allows you to compare different videos, groups, or time periods. Select compare to to compare two items. This is an incredibly useful tool if you're trying to see how your channel performs year over year, or to look at how your latest videos or series compare against each other. Once you start comparing two items, you can also change the report, timeframes, and metrics you want to analyze. Finally, you can use this view to export your data. You can view up to 50 rows of data in YouTube Studio. To get up to 500 rows of data, click this export icon to download a report of the data you're looking at.